What's up guys, John from Heroes World here. I have got uh, a new unboxing for you here. If you are here, you are probably a 112th scale collector, so Legends, Star Wars, all that kind of jazz, G.I. Joe. Uh, but I've got here a Figma motorbike from their one of their lines. It's based off, I don't know if it's an anime or, or just a manga property, uh, heavily armed schoolgirls. Um, if you're looking for more information on that, you're not going to find it here, so you're going to have to look that up. I was only interested in, in this bike. It is called the EX Ride BK918. You see here. Um, it is sized for Figma figures, which we all know is a bit smaller. So we're going to see if they will fit a 112th scale. Sorry, my daughters are in the background here, but I figured uh, you guys might want to see this happen. So I got my trusty TBT slider here. And I'm gonna open it up. So already here, you can kind of see the size of the bike. I brought my Snake Eyes here because he's a smaller figure. Um, so it it looks like it it might work. It might be a little small. So let's 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 open it up and. I'll put the figures on there if I can. If my daughters get too noisy, I'll just take some pics for you guys. So nice clamshell packaging. Make sure it's nice and uh, protected when it gets shipped or however you're getting it. Uh, we do have a couple of these in stock at the store. This is getting from us. I did see that uh, Big Bad Toy Store does have it as well. Uh, there was no tape on the side, so I was cutting imaginary tape there. Uh, and then these types of figures usually have this plastic stuff. I'm not going to figure out what all these additional things are, but they're pretty small. So I'm going to try to keep them aside here. So let's look at the bike here. It's a very nice bike. Um, they are not cheap. Uh, anyone who collects Figmas knows um, this guy will cost you in the $100 range. If you're looking at USD, Canadian, we'll probably have in the shop for about $130, $139 or something like that. Looks good. Both wheels turn. You got a little bit of rotation here. Um, not really seeing much else that this thing does. Rotation on the back. These pieces don't seem to come off. There, there's a kickstand here, so it can stand on its own. So let's try. So you might have to use force perspective. Looking at it, it does look a little bit small. Uh, I wish these were actually uh, cut out or maybe just painted a little nicer. But maybe that's the aesthetic of this anime or, or manga, whatever it is. So without further ado, let's try and put some figures on it. So I've got Snake here. So let me take a, uh, well, let me take one of his guns out of his hands. So these are some nice 3D printed guns. So if you haven't updated, upgraded the uh, guns on your Joes yet, it's a good option. So let's see, standing up here. Does look pretty good. Sorry, my light's not great. I've got the sun coming in from the back window here. So I guess I'm gonna have to lift this up and hold it up. Or maybe I'll move the camera closer. Yeah, let's try and move the camera a little bit closer. So standing next to it. Make up one of the dinosaurs. Um, everyone. It's looking a little small. But sometimes these bikes can be low slung. So let's. Let's see. Let's go. He, sit, he sits on there pretty good. So I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll take some pictures and then you guys can be the judge. Uh, so I figured I'd just do a quick video for you guys. Damn, my light is trash. If you guys like these kind of videos, definitely let me know. I'll try to do more. I'll try to do better setup. Uh, let me see. So that's the snake guys. He's a bit of a smaller figure. Let's take, so we got a Marvel 
your typical Marvel figure. This is a Paladin. I've got a bunch of these. If you're selling these cheap, let me know. So this definitely looks a little... So it does look a little bit small, but I don't know. Let me change the perspective here. Like that. That looks not bad. So that looks pretty cool. All right, one more. I got a random Star Wars Black Series figure here. Um, this Wrecker. I've got a Wrecker back here, but I think he's way too big for this. So let's, let's see. So Star Wars Black fi Series figures, a little bit smaller. Um, I think I'm the only one who kind of puts their Star Wars Black Series with, with weird accessories and stuff like that. So I don't know if this will be applicable to any of you guys. That's not bad. It actually looks all right. Considering it's a... Figma, I thought it wouldn't fit at all. If you look at Figma figures, they're usually only like maybe four, four or five inches tall. But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures. I'll put that at the end of the video. So let me let me know what you guys think. Does this this scale? Is this something that you'd be interested in? Um, I'm always on the lookout for one twelfth scale vehicles. I've got a one tenth scale RC car in the back here that I'm gonna be painting and modding up. It seems to fit well with these figures but uh let me know in the comments if you guys like this type of stuff and a bunch of pictures to follow um so again that is the bx ride from max factory bk91a um i believe good smile is also attached to this particular property uh i could be wrong again i, I don't know anything about this uh, particular license or property i just thought it was a cool bike so thanks a lot, folks.